Hi. <laughs> so my name is Fatumata. I'm from West Africa. Back in my country, women doesn't choose their life. What I mean about that is um, the um, Guinean father chose their husband for them. So when I come to United States, with um, I'm living with my stepmom and my dad. So I thought I was going to get married. But later on, I told it to my parents that I want to get married. But later on, I told them that, no, I want to go to school. And they said, no, it's, it's already too late because they found a husband for me that I have to get married. And I said, okay, but I want to go to school. I told them, okay, just to avoid that, conv uh, to avoid that discussion. So they let me go to school. The first day of my school, when I went there, there was a group of people. They were happy to see me. And I told her, like, I'm going to be friends with them. But when they asked me and I said, I'm coming from West Africa, Guinea, they changed, they asked it right away to me. So I didn't, like, I didn't react to it. I didn't say nothing. I just leave it like that. So a couple of days after that, I went to a lunch room on my own because I had no friend. I was new in the school. So there was a girl there. She, I don't know her. She told me to give her my ID, my school ID, so she gonna get lunch to me. And I gave her the ID, but when she brought, uh, bring the food, she didn't give me the food. She ate it. And uh, I didn't, I couldn't define myself. I couldn't speak. Like I couldn't talk to nobody because I didn't understand English. Nothing. So I just leave it like that. She did that to me like three to four times, and I couldn't do nothing because I wasn't speaking English. So I wasn't um, passing my classes too. And uh, later, my teacher told me that I have to come to summer, um, to take summer class because I didn't pass my classes. And I was happy about that because I know that I need help. And uh, I accepted. And I was coming to summer class. I passed all my classes. And the following year, when I come, I could, like I, I was able to speak a lot of English. So the same girl come, she tried to do the same, but I, I talked to her, and she know what she was doing wasn't right. And I said she have to stop, or I'm gonna fire her. And she since that she never did, and uh, I was passing my class, and I was happy about it. And a couple of months after that. My dad started talking about that. Um, he started talking about how to go live with the guy that they say they find for me. That I have to go live with him. So I said, okay, no problem. And I take myself, I leave, but instead of going to the guy, uh, to the guy house, I went to my friend house. Because first, I don't know the guy, and I heard that he's old than me, he's so old. And also, I don't like him. That's why I went to my friend's house. And I stayed there for like a two months. So when I went there, they, uh, her family welcomed me. They were happy to, like, to see me there. And uh, I was not comfortable with my situation. Sometimes when it's time to dinner, they call me, Fatumata, come, it's time to dinner. But I told them that, no, I wasn't hungry, but that wasn't true. I was just not happy with my situation. And I told them I decided to, to look for a job that I'm going to rent a house and stay there by myself and go to school. On that time, I wasn't come going to school no more. So I was looking for a job for like two weeks. The last day that I want to look for a job, any place that I go to, like to ask about a job, when they ask me a question, I couldn't answer because I, I couldn't speak English. The last day that I went to find, to look for a job, I was coming, I, I didn't find a job, I was coming in the bus. There was, uh, I was crying in the box. There was uh, some old lady there. She like she come next to me and she told me that life is not easy. You just need to keep going, never give up. And she make me like my mom had told me that before. Like she make me realize that nothing is impossible. You just need to keep going. And when I went home and I told my friend family that I decided to go back home because. 
I was able to find a job and uh, I wanted to go to school and that was the only solution for me to go home and I was going to be able to go to school. So that's why I decided to go to school. When I went home, the guy called uh, my family that uh, he didn't see me, and, but my family didn't call me. I didn't know about it. I didn't even know that they told the guy that I was going to go there. So when I went there, it was even worse than before. But anyway, I went to school. And I told my family that, like, to, I want to finish school. If I finish my school, and I'm going to get married to the guy, but I'm not. If I finish school, I'm going to leave and to finish my education because that's what I want. And uh, I went to school, and I'm still going to school too. So what I understand from this is that anything you want, Anything you want, you just have to have the courage to do it and never give up. What matters is you being alive and you having the courage. Thank you.